Tonight, I am thrilled to share news that one of the missing people that we featured here on Fox 26 has been found. And the family spoke to me just shortly ago about how it happened. Initially, when we decided to have the vigil, my heart sank because I'm thinking, oh my God, you know, and Fox 26 was there, they, they aired it, and we got a tip. So a gentleman called us and told us when he saw it on the news, he recognized that Jordan A was the guy that he was seeing every single day in the evening. We beelined over there. We did not find him. Rode around the community, left flyers, left our numbers. About 20 minutes, we got another call. And the call stated that the Jordan A was over off of Kirby and West Hyman. We immediately ran over there, drove over there, and we saw Jordan A on the corner kind of directing traffic and, you know, it, it, we, we knew that he was out of, he was lost, he was confused. I feel chills coming over me. The moment we realized that that was Jordan A, we immediately jumped out. We immediately jumped out. And uh, people that were around, they were really, really kind because they can tell, you know, there was an issue with Jordan A. So how is he doing? So he has a thing, any, any, that anyone that deals with mental illness knows that uh, when a patient is well, they do not want to take the medicine any longer. Um, you're not allowed to commit your family members, you know. We gathered him up and took him to Harris County Psychiatric Center, HCPC, where he's been a patient several times. We stayed there five or six hours um, to no avail. They sent him home on that particular day. And on their way home, uh, Jordan, they got out of the vehicle. They got to a red light. He got out of the vehicle and he began to walk and get away. So we cried out, we called, we tried to get help. Luckily, uh, UT kind of felt our cry and they allowed us to bring Jordan A back. That's when JJ was allowed to, uh, to be taken in and cared for. This scenario could have definitely been a different scenario. After 15 days of being on the street, um, he was protected, and we are so grateful to God. We're grateful for, to the community. We're grateful to Fox. We are just so thrilled that we could be part of the work that your family was doing. We are overjoyed. We are so thankful to Fox 26. We're thankful to the community. You have to rally together as a family. So Tanya says the incident was eye-opening for family members, and now they have a plan where everyone is going to play a part to support Jardinet and keep him safe. And we cannot express our gratitude enough to the viewers and those of you watching who are helping this ongoing series and our mission to bring home some of the thousands of Houstonians who are missing on any given day. And one of the best ways you can do that is sharing the stories that we feature on The Missing here on the News Edge. You can find them on fox26houston.com under the missing section. And JD, I'm still processing because we said when we started this series, if we could find one person, wouldn't that be amazing? And we have many more families we're working with, so it's just incredible. And today, as I got the news, I mean, the sun was shining down. It felt like a blessing. Uh, wow, I'm, I've, this is one of those opportunities where I'm sort of like, I, I might need to know about this before <laughs> I hear this live on the air here so I can kind of compose myself. It's a lot to process. This is yes. such a big moment and we're just we're just thrilled. We're thrilled. It's so. huge. It's huge. This is this is that's big news, big news and so proud of uh, of what you're doing over there, Caitlin. Our um, team's great with that. Yeah, this is fantastic.